All right, today we are going around the room a bit, just doing a gear breakdown. I've got a couple videos I'm working on that's taken a little more time, so I thought today would be a nice day to go over some of the gear I've been doing these videos on. And uh, gear's fun, right? It's not why we get into music, but once we're in, it's, uh, it's kind of a, a big part of it. And some people like gear more than others. And uh, this is for you guys who are more into the gear. So, and we're gonna look at the guitar setup first here, and then we'll look at the drums. Here we go, guitar. Most of the videos I've done have been on this Epiphone with guitar. I guess I've only done a couple, but yeah, this Epiphone, Les Paul, nice guitar. Uh, you know, Epiphone, I get it, but man, it's a it's a sweet guitar, and I really like the tone out of this. I think it's it's pretty nice for you know being an Epiphone, and then over here. This thing's a beaut. This is my main guitar here, and it's, I use this in my band. We play half step down, so that's why I don't use this for like covering songs and whatnot, just because I like to keep the tuning, because it's got these, the sweet like lock, not the lock lock tuners, but the, basically you just put the string in. You can see there's no winding required. You just put it in and then tighten the, the screws on the back and it just stays, it's, it's great. This is the Tim Henson signature. One of the, not the newest one at this time, but the one before it. Great guitar. And then we've got the pedal board. Got some Behringer pedals, got some Boss pedals. And uh, yeah, I really like, probably my favorite pedal is this Blues Driver and the Compressor Sustainer. These Behringer pedals, um, they're pretty nice as far as like what price to quality. I, I would recommend them, especially if you're on a budget. I mean, I think this blues driver is like 200 and this distortion pedal, the Behringer ones are on 30. So it's a nice, uh, affordable alternative, but the boss definitely, I would say that the sound quality is quite a bit better, but these are, these are really good. I enjoy using the Behringer. The, comp like I said, the compressor sustain pedal is really nice by Behringer. Nice little volume expression pedal. And then just got the Marshall DSL 20, just a 20 watt, man. You don't need a lot. And as you can see, that's how high my volume is. And that is cranking. So I want to dispel the myth that you need a huge amp wattage and a huge half or full stack to get a big sound. You just don't need that. So I like these, uh, the Dario NYXLs I need to get those on soon. So that's it for the guitar rig. Let's go check out, I haven't even played any bass, but let's go look at some bass. So maybe you guys can relate to buying something and then like never playing it. I bought this from one of my bandmates, um, nice Fender jazz bass. Great sounding bass, man, I love this thing. But yeah, I just don't play a lot of bass and then just this old PV, uh, big boomy amp, weighs way too much. But uh, that's the bass rig, that's it, nothing more. All right, let's view the cymbal wall here. We've got a K light flat ride, no bell on it beautiful sound uh you guys ever heard of this it's like gig percussion not the highest quality but uh just some stuff laying around where i teach and uh inherited some of that a k custom dark crash i bought this many years ago don't play it as much i like the brighter sound now but uh it's a great symbol this is a k carope i think is how you say them a zildjian symbol um really nice for jazz i love that thing for if i'm if i'm swinging a bit and then uh to go with that a nice dark thin top K um, hi-hat. I usually just throw an A on the bottom, like the A top hat, and then do put this on top for like the little Gretsch kit I have. And then some just low quality Minels, the HCS series, just have those around, and then a nice A custom tenant splash. I bought this when I was in high school for like a fundraiser. I was saving up money through this account, and I was so proud I could afford I was looking through the catalog and I'm like, hey, I can get a splash symbol. And I was just so proud of that. All right, there's old Wilcoxon hanging out. Let's get to the baby here. As you see, I like dampening. I like having options. I use the Cow Mutes by B Big Fat Snare Drum, O-Rings by Remo, the Big Fat Snare Drum full covers, just kind of the standard ones, and Moon Gels, I like to have the options. Sometimes I leave them totally open though. This is a great symbol, uh, A, 19 inch thin crash this i could see using in like a big band setting would be nice but i just like it as sort of the ballad symbol just something big and washy uh nothing wild on the 
other crashes, they're just A's, A custom crashes, you know, 16 and a 17 over there. Let's get in here. This symbol is amazing. This is a K. It is a high definition. You can't see it really. It's a K custom high definition ride, 22 inch. And uh, it's just got a great, I mean, as it, as it tells you what it is, it's very just good definition. That should be coming through pretty nice, even on the iPhone audio. I just feel every style of music I want to play, that thing can handle it. And over to the hi-hats, we've got the just 14-inch A-Customs. Nothing, nothing wild. They work. They're great. Sound awesome. I uh, just got this pedal, DW5000, the chain drive one. That's been great. I had a 4000 since 2005, and just over the past year, I've been trying to find something else. And uh, that's the one I think I'm happy with now. I'm just a nice Gibraltar hi-hat stand. Man, I'll tell you guys what. These DW, I bought the, because the we haven't even talked about the kit. This is a DW design. The quote-unquote cheap DW shells. And I bought the DW ball joint tom mounts. And man, I used to, I just never liked these in general. Just because of the design. I've talked about that in other videos. But these are excellent. They, I've had these for five years at the time of this video. And not once have I experienced a centimeter of sagging on the ball joint. So DW, nice job with the hardware. And the drums sound great too. I've gotten countless compliments of how good my drums are by sound guys, people I've never met at, at festivals and whatnot. So uh, really nice stuff from DW. I'm not endorsed by them or anything. I just like their stuff. I uh, got the kind of, I saw Thomas Lang doing this a long time ago where he'd flip it upside down. It actually works. It makes a lot of just practical sense for my setup here, just having a crash where you can go up and then over. You're kind of, there's just these three right here that you can hit. And then, of course, the standard positioning crash there. And then I really liked, I recently did this where I can kind of have the ride where it feels like a four piece configuration, but then. Again, with DW's nice hardware setup, you really can get these close in and have the two toms right here. And if you guys are familiar with like the New Breed book, uh, Gary Chester recommends you kind of set up with this being the main point of where you're looking through is this point of the kit. So yeah, this is the set, 22 inch base, 10, 12, 16. And then let's get to this baby here. This is not the DW. Um, I'm not all that into their snares typically, but this is just a Ludwig Superphonic. And this snare is one of my favorite, probably my favorite piece of drum gear I own right now. It just sounds so good. And uh, yeah, sometimes I will play with the ring off. It is a lot more live and ringy that way, but I just like the snap. You can get just such a nice high definition and just such a great crack sound with this snare so this is this is a beauty here and then a nice rock and sock throne you got to be cozy you play in these four hour bar gigs you got to be cozy so that's pretty much the setup and then as far as mics i just use the Audix, um like the the d series i think or like the d6 kick i didn't like the snare mic they had so as most people get the Shure SM57, great mic there. And I do have the Sennheiser uh, 604 Tom mics. I just don't have my console set up to really support that right now. So you can see there is where I set up my phone to record. Just those little Hercule mounts, they're great. And then, yeah, this is just the room area here. And a nice little AKG room mic here I like to use, P420, and that is the gear.